Searching all night for her. Her? The beautiful one I danced the evening with. Where did she go? She disappeared like the fine morning mist. Ah, she was lovely. Oh, the loveliest. I am not sure of that. I confess, I too have found a maiden. She lives here in the woods. In the woods? Yes. <laughs> the top of a tall tower that has no door or Stairs. Huh? Where? Two leagues from here, due east, just beyond the grassy knoll. Well, how do you manage a visit then? I stand below her tower and I say, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair to me. And then she lowers the longest, most beautiful head of hair, yellow as corn, which I climb to her. <laughs> oh, Rapunzel! Oh, Rapunzel! You jest. I have never heard of such a thing. I speak the truth. She is as real as your maiden. Mm -hmm. A maiden running from a prince. <laughs> None would run from us. <laughs> Yet one has. <laughs>
brings you into the woods today? Uh, I'm investigating news. Uh, the giant! Yes. You? Yes. Investigating news of a giant. Oh, right. <laughs> Father would not even do that. That is business for your steward or less. Well, what are you doing in the wood? My Rapunzel has run off. Oh, <laughs> run off? She's a changed woman. I know not what to do. She's been subject to hysterical fits of crying. Moods no soul could predict. Oh, what a pity. And Cinderella? She remains well. Does she? <laughs> <laughs> now, brother, do tell what you're really doing here. High in a tower like yours was, but higher a huge asleep. All round the tower, a thick in a briar, a hundred feet deep. Agony, no frustration more keen. Inside your casket, a maiden, alas, just as unwakeable, what a mistakeable agony is the way always barred. She has skin white as snow. Oh, did you learn her name? No, there's a dwarf standing guard. <laughs> Unbearable. 